drinking. Dad's hat. I didn't even see it. I could tell by the bottle. Pennsylvania rye whiskey. Absolutely. Rye whiskey. This is where it all started, folks. Right here. Uh, craft whiskey of the year. Oh, where at? Excited. I don't Nowhere. Know. Just they just said it. They just, just said it themselves. Yeah, they're probably like, is it an actual sticker they added no, to it's it? It's not. Uh, it's got a hat, so I guess that was Dad's hat. It better be something special. It was thirty-five bones. <laughs> Sorry, folks. We're, we're not the richest people in the world. We we're very happy. I wouldn't even. I wouldn't go as far as very. Well, I mean, mediocre. Happy. I mean, we understand we're, we're getting by. We understand we're supposed to be happy. Like we have a pretty anybody, good life. I don't think anybody really gives a shit about our happiness. No. Do you? No. I mean, you need to move a little bit now. You changed. I need to go back over this way. Yeah, that was good. I mean, I didn't. It didn't matter to me. I didn't have to do that. I just like being close to you. Yeah. So, Dad's hat. I know absolutely nothing about. Obviously, not a big distillery. Uh, it's a Pennsylvania rye, though. This is, uh, check this out, man. 45% and 90 proof. And it is the perfect fit. Oh, John, that's all we needed. It's the perfect fit. Uh, and yeah, don't drink when you're pregnant. Well, yeah. All right, there's a, there's a story. There's something there. I don't know why I always get regulated. Uh, first of all, Here I we can't go. see. Second of all, I don't <laughs> read as well. You're you're much more better in the reading department than uh, I am. Uh, should I should I do it in a movie announcer voice? I think. Uh, do can you do like old timey Atlantic? You know, like ah, uh, uh, maybe perhaps I could do a no, no, no but I can do the movie guy. Okay. Using only natural local ingredients in the most careful methods, Dad's Hat is made in Pennsylvania, the birthplace of rye whiskey. In honor of that wonderful, optimistic time in America's history when we made things and took care to make them well. Dad's Hat rye whiskey reflects its some simple, uniquely American personality better than any other whiskey. Crisp, smooth, Delicious, not lingering or heavy-handed in its finish. Perfect for every occasion. After tasting Dad's hat, we hope that you feel the same way. Ergo, the perfect fit. The perfect fit. Dad's hat. In a world, in a world where Dad's hat <laughs> is drank by middle-aged men, Undercrown. What are we smoking? Undercrown. What's Undercrown? We had anything? We had an Undercrown Maduro, but this is Undercrown Sun Grown. Uh, Undercrown Maduro, I don't know how you don't remember, but one of our favorite cigars is going to be, it's very definitely in the top five right now. I, I, my head swims with the amount of cigars that we've smoked so far. We smoke one a week. Uh, right. Sometimes two a week. It swims. Drowning in knowledge. Uh, I don't know. Clipping a sip. Sipping a clip. Okay. We're going to reverse rolls today. Yeah. All right. So you got to give the tasting notes now. The first tasting notes. Oh. But I'm going to have this lit up. <laughs> like five seconds. Oh, it's got a nice glug. A glugged, yeah. That's, That's a, nice a weird glug bottle. Glug. Kind of cool. I'm kind though, of digging man. it. I like the flat face face. I like the flat face bottles. Tell you what, it would make a nice uh, Art Deco lamp base. Yes. All right. Glad somebody else saw it. Fedora on the door on the back of the door. Right. Not even on a like a well maybe like a a mm. uh, spice coat rack. Mmm. Like, this is the first time I've really gotten a spice off of this. Well, this, uh, as far as I understand, this is real rye. This is, uh, you know, of course, your only other real rye was the Whistlepig 10-year-old, which is going to be much different than this. 
uh, heavy on the acetone at uh, nail polish remover. That's which I found out was a good thing. You know, we liked every one of those whiskeys we got that on. It, uh, I, I'm not going to lie, it smells a little intimidating. Well, we're going to give it a shot here for you. <laughs> it's a rye whiskey. Faith. Ooh, that smells good. Yeah, this is a... Yeah. Oh. Anyway. <laughs> I just got the second hander off that. I was like, ooh. You're going to have to give it a sniff. Because I didn't sniff it. Oh, that's a, yeah, that's eucalyptus. That's straight eucalyptus. Wow. There's a funk to it. I wonder if this is going to be uh, 100%. I've got to look the... At that, uh, the licorice, the uh, eucalyptus, the uh, sambuca. Even mint. It's got them all. Yeah, right? It's got all that kind of mentholative family note. I, 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 there's a little sour note back in there, like a fermentation. Yes, that, like a sour lemon. Yeah. Yeah, like uh, what are those lemons uh, that are... Lemon heads. No, lemons that are uh, kept in brine. Salted lemons. Basically. Salted <laughs> lemons. That's what they taste like, too. Oh, it's very... It's a... Uh, Close to it is scary. It's uh interesting. This had better be a hearty cigar. It's it's definitely rye whiskey, man. This is real rye whiskey. This is is yeah. Coat your mouth with you know it's the got a sting on it too. It stings. Uh, a good whiskey, not not. So we're not saying this is a new whiskey. This is no, not, no, no, no. This is something. This is interesting. This to me. is uh, so this is really. Is this, like, people, uh, this is what I envision rye. This is rye whiskey. Okay. So old fashioned. What do we need for an old fashioned? We don't have simple syrup. We have sugar though. Brown do we, sugar. Do we? We have any citrus peel? No. Well, there might. I think I threw them out. They were looking pretty rough. Um, comfortable leather, just an easiness to it, little s subtle hints of chocolate with an underlying barnyard, all entangled yeah, nicely together. That is very, those are very common things. This, uh, uh, this smells like a, 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 a childhood worn baseball mitt. First third. Uh, right, this is, no, initial this is, light. This is the initial light. I like that. Initial light. A nice leather. I actually get a barnyard dryness in my mouth. The, uh, the autumn leaves. A nice sweet leather. A smooth retro. Barely any pepper. Almost a eucalyptus on this now. Usually we get that a little bit later on in the cigar. I don't know, Maduro. You might have some competition here. Everyone loves the Maduro. It was like, uh, I don't know, number 18, number 3. I can't remember this stuff. Very nice retro. Not heavy on the pepper at all. Nice. No. What, uh, that's Not a, at all. a medium note. You're talking about like a wood. Yes, there's like a wood, wood cedar, like yeah. a little bit of like sawdust. Like so, I'm thinking more of like a pine or a uh, oak. How about like an oak, a hardwood? Yeah, that's it. Like a white oak. Uh, a lot of nicotine in the wrapper. This is medium. Got a little strong. tingle. Got a little this tingle. This is strong cigar. Very well constructed. Beautiful burn, and right from junk. So. Uh, I think they're going to compete well. I think these go together. I think this right now might be the, uh, maybe not the best of each, but this as far as pairing. Oh, it turns it. I think you get butterscotch. Yeah, right? get, yeah, I, I could see that. It the two of them together it gets a little buttery. Yeah, it sweetens it up. 
considerably. How does that, how? How does a cigar sweeten up a rye whiskey? I wish we had whistle pig left, man. <gasps> There's a little taster there for you. Oh, shit. <coughs> Take magical fingers around here. Ah, I dropped some on the... There's one more, it won't come off! That's it. Wouldn't give me any more. Now, look at that drop right there. Huh. Wow. I get a very similar smell. So, Dad's hat, rye, and this is whistle pig. Very similar experience, man. There's no age statement on this, right? Uh, I didn't look that close, to be honest with you. It's a genuine small batch. It's bona fide. Doesn't say that. But... Mount Laurel. I wonder if this is like Laurel, like over by uh, Union Laurel Town. Laurel Highlands. Maybe, yeah. I don't know. That would be the Yakagini mm -hmm. River, though, not the Monongahela. Or the Colorado. Colorado's in Colorado, I know. Isn't that a. <laughs> what's that called? The Grand Canyon. Grand Canyon. I've yeah. never been there. Yeah, we did a uh, family uh, trip. That was one of our summer vacations when we were little. Ditched Sedona, went to Tombstone. Oh, Tombstone. Was it, uh, it's probably all touristy, though. It was, uh, but it's like, you don't quite realize how desolate, like, the, truly the surrounding was, the surrounding area was. Uh, and again, this was, oh, shit, 35 years ago. Um, the graveyard was cool. Because they had the original tombstones there, and you know they yeah he died a thief at cards or you know there's different things that they wrote. That was pretty cool. Mm. It's like slipping on a glove, man. I was a little worried that uh, it was going to go out because it seems like it's smoking quite nicely, which means there's a lot of oxygen getting through it. I thought ah it's probably just going to go out kind of quick. Didn't. It's burning beautifully. It is. And it, I. Mm. It has a nice feel to it too. When I've noticed when I when I feel a little bit um, like it's a, like it's a little bit of a special cigar, I, I hold it like this. If it's just a smoker, I hold it like this. The hook, the hook, like you know, we're golfing. Or we're You're like cards. I don't, I do not want to drop this. No, no, no. This is we're golfing. We're I'm doing other shit with my I'm hands. Not paying attention. This is I'm smoking a cigar. Oh, uh, what a nice floral note, too, on the retro. It's all right, John. I'll get it. I'll get my, why didn't my, my, my you ice. Ask, why didn't you ask? Number one, you didn't ask. And number two, I never know when you want ice or you don't want ice. You're socially unacceptable, man. I don't give two shits. Um, I wonder where that, that phrase came from. I don't give two shits. Like somebody said, I don't give a shit. Well, I... And then somebody else said... Don't give two shits. I don't give two shits. And then somebody else was like, why, why would anybody want your shits? And then they were like... Me, I'm three shits to the wind. Not that I'm celebrating the death of Did they have family. the OK Corral? Yeah, that was where the OK Corral was, wasn't it? Oh, yeah, I mean, yeah. that's that's Doc Holiday. Doc Holiday and uh, Wider Lot. Portrayed beautifully. I tell you what, I like both. Absolutely. Man. I don't think there's, I don't, 
I watched that whole movie and did not even realize. The first time I watched that movie, did not realize that was Val Kilmer. That's a little odd. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> I mean, that's just a little odd. But when, I, when I'm on the line, I swing my tongs around on my finger and like, do you not Billy? The kid. Not yeah. Billy the cook. Billy the cook. <laughs> I love Wonder Billy. Billy's a great still dude, alive, man. right? Billy's a great yeah. dude. He's kicking. Yeah? He's still working. Is he not in like a full body brace? He, he walking, re- walking had a hip in. replaced. He said he was, both of them he needed done. Ain't that, we're, you're, you're, you know like the you're bionic old. Billy. You know you're old when you went to school with somebody that had a hip replacement. Replace, right? Dang, you're old. I'm old, but I ain't that old. I tell you what, man. As far as beauty, whistle pig, as far as interesting... This dad, this dad's hat is off the chains, man. Ah, this is the new quintessential rise, they say, in here, the adequate arena. And that ice just sweetens it up. It really highlights, I think, the uh, the, the butterscotch or the caramel notes in it. But there is there is that just that heavy kind of base like lemon flavor i think that just kind of shines through every once in a while yeah the uh candy the uh the nail polish shiny maybe that's shiny i've heard people say shiny there we go mm. i dribble drabble mm. i tell you what on ice this dad's hat the ice does not take a whole lot away from it just enough it sweetens it up. Yeah. Still a lot of it's it's You're everything still else getting just that calm rye. down a little yeah, bit. It's still getting that strong rye flavor. But it doesn't seem to uh water it down that much. Mm-mm. It softens it just ever so much. Takes the edges off. Well, we're still in the second third. We didn't even start the second third yet. Oh really? But it, uh, to me it's 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 not so much developing it the the, the I think the flavors are getting a little bit deeper, a little bit darker. It's like we're uh, shifting uh, leathers from a fine leather to a, like a baseball glove. Leather. Yeah, it's getting, uh, I don't know, it's basically the same notes. I still really haven't got any of that chocolate you were talking about. I think I'm going to make myself a beverage. What are you going to make? Uh, I'm going to go with a uh, cherry uh, rye coke. Uh, yeah, I mean, I might, uh, to tell me what it tastes like, I might go with you. All right. There's one can of Coke. I would more than gladly split it with well, you. Well, you don't need a whole can of Coke for a couple of drinks. Well, I've hit an alarming spot in my cigar. It's gone completely south. There's something here mechanically, but honestly... Is that where is, the crack was? Yeah, it yeah. is still smoking like a champ. Yeah. You can see it just... That's just the wrapper, out. though. Still enjoying it, though. Hasn't really developed much. Flavors have been pretty consistent. Uh, I thought maybe going into the second, third, a little bit of the deepening kind of the flavors, but it's held pretty no, consistent. Yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's basically the yeah. same cigar. Pepper's, uh, pepper's picking up on the retro on this. I think I'm a little further in than you are. But wow, that was a big black pepper there, boy. Whew. And I'm not bitching about this whiskey. I think these go together beautifully. I went back to straight. Uh, I didn't even finish the mixed drink. It wasn't all that special. I'm not going to lie. Uh, I, re- I really was just trying to replace the old fashioned. Uh, but these are, uh, these, uh, both beverage and stick, I think, are worth the money. Absolutely. I feel very these good both, uh, about the amount yeah, of money. Yeah, these are that both we spend. fairly priced and they yes. go together wonderfully. So, uh, we're coming into the final third, so now we're going to start paying attention to the cigar again. You have already debanded. What is that, velvet? Velvet! Maybe there's a velvety. It's velvety. Yes. For the bourbons. That would work for her. Yeah, bourbons. but I mean, velvety. Uh, some, I can't mm, figure it out. Yes. Yeah. Mm. The leather is amped up on that retro to me. You started saying that in the, in the middle, because we're, we're talking about something we're uncomfortable about. Final third, same as the second, same as the first. It doesn't change that much. 
uh, maybe something comes up at you. There was some coffee in there in a second, and uh, a very good cigar, that heavy, uh, happy leather throughout the whole thing. Very well-functioning, classic cigar. Very happy about this cigar. Uh, not very complex, though. No. The, the Maduro, definitely more complex. It it had enough of an edge of class on it, though, where... I don't know, what... I would buy this cigar. I you ready be, for digits? I would be happy with this cigar. Yeah, close. Just in case. Do you want to do the phone reveal? Do you like that, or does sure. that not matter? Yeah, I don't care. Did you like it? I don't know. I'm asking you. You're did you like it? I mean, it was on the last video. I did. I just yeah. want to make sure it was a gimmick you wanted to still go with. Maybe we should talk more about I mean, it's like, you know, it's like, you're like my mistress or something. <laughs> I don't think you're like a non-sex mistress. You're like the worst of a mistress. Like, I can't have sex just, just with you. Shunned. You got to unshun. Shunned. <laughs> Who the fuck you think you are? Talk to me like I'm some second class. I think it's getting much better, much classier, so. I'm going, uh. Good cigar, ninety one, maybe. Eighty nine. Ooh, yeah, that's rough. I don't know if they're gonna get much better in this until we start spending twenty dollars a stick. Leaving a little room at the top. I think eighty nine is a really good score. Eighty nine is a good cigar. For me, ninety two though. 90, for me, 92. I think you crack into the nineties when you're, you're getting a lot of those dark, deep. Complex, flavors. which was the uh, its brother in the yeah. uh, Maduro. Nothing it's just as interesting. It's just as good as the Maduro, but less interesting because of those dark flavors. They're not there. But uh, this is a big leather, good leather stick, man. Mm -hmm. I would be very happy with this. It goes wonderfully with the dad's hat. Uh, it's a. Uh, it's an experience. So this is something you're paying attention to. Both of these. This you, you cannot take your attention away from this whiskey.